So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover another amazing lab that is application load balancer with cloud armor so first of all click on start lab and if you're new to this channel like the video and subscribe the channel now first thing is that you have to open the cloud console in incognito window and now here it is getting signed in automatically if it asks for username and password check the lab for it now many of you were asking how to enable the check my progress basically the points bar you can just check the description for it now here just wait for the console to open now here if you get any kind of pop-up just click on i understand and agree and continue now let's move to the next step of this lab now once the cloud console loads here you'll see this kind of interface now from the search box you have to just type vpc here we have to create vpc networks and firewalls so first of all just click on firewall you can also click on vpc networks also now wait for the page to fully load here, click on create firewall rule remove this unwanted pop-ups and then come to the lab instruction now click on the task number one you can see here here is the name you have to just copy the name carefully make sure there is no extra space or dot if you see any kind of extra space just remove it like this now here we have to add the target tags and ipv4 range now here it's http dash server for the target tags just copy it and paste over here and now ipv4 range is this so again copy it like this and paste over here now all these things are done now enable this tcp and here enter at okay now all things are clear do cross verify from the lab instruction and then click on create now again we have to create another health check firewall rule so just wait for a few seconds now now here it is creating now meanwhile we can also create the firewall no need to worry about it now just click on create and copy the name carefully again make sure there is no extra space and dot okay now here again we have to just add the target tags so just paste like this and for the ipv4 ranges just copy carefully here two ipv4 ranges are here Make sure to just, once you have paste, click on the next side. Basically on any space other than this. Now this two has been added. Now you have to just click on TCP. Here is no mention of the port number. So you can just click on TCP and just click on create. Now wait for it to get created. It will take some time. So you can see the first firewall which we created has been successfully created. And now the second one is being created. It will take few seconds. Yes, you can see now it has been created. Now once all these things are done, we will move forward to the lab instruction and check the score. Apart from these, here we will just open another task. Basically, we have to create instance template. So on the search box, what you need to do, you need to just type template or instance. Okay, you can see here it's showing like this. You have to click over it. And if it's not showing here, just open in a new tab. If it is not showing here, what you need to do, you need to type completely, basically instance templates. Or you can just navigate to the compute engine and just scroll down and you can see here, it's here. Now we have to create and clone the template too. Now please pay attention to this important step so that you are able to complete this lab with ease. So here basically, you can see just click on create instance template and if the page does not load just reload the browser and try again now it is being loaded and it will be open soon now here just check the score for task number one now let's move to the task number two now here you have to copy the name carefully make sure there is no extra space or dot as i said earlier because this is very important now the location is global you don't have to select the region you have to just select global and if they change to region you have to always select as per the lab instruction now machine type will be micro and e2 generation basically it's in e2 and micro now here you have to just go to the advanced option and in networking you have to just add the network tags copy the tag like this and just paste over here now scroll down and here just select the subnet you have to select the subnet as per the region mentioned on here now if you try to copy it directly you won't be able to find it so best way is that just type the region and select it like this now once it's done you have to click on done and just scroll down and open the management here basically we have to add a startup script so now here just copy it from here the key 
and paste in the key section and similarly for this just paste in the value section make sure there is no extra space or dot i am repeating this many because many of you make make mistake now click on create and it will take some time to get created then similarly we have to just clone this one and add for another just region. click on this checkbox okay. click on these three dots and click on copy now the instance template is being copied and here basically half of the things are already mentioned now here you have to come over here and in the advanced section to just check whether the subnets are visible or not basically all the multiple subnets are visible now you can just create with piece now copy the name carefully make sure there is no extra space or dot just copy the name paste over here and make sure the location is same as per the lab instruction now cross verify whether http server is present on tags or not many times it is present and many times it is absent also so you have to just go to the networking section it will be like this you have to just open it and paste in case it's not mentioned over here okay i hope you understood what i wanted to say now we have to add the subnet to network so basically it will be as per the lab instruction regions copy the region like this and from the region you have to just enter this region now select it carefully and then click on done now here just click on create now it will take some time so wait for the instance template to get created and then we'll be creating some instance group yes we'll be following all the sequence and if you're new to this channel and haven't liked the video or subscribe the channel do subscribe it and like the video and do comment down if you need any other lab tutorial too apart from this always check the skill budget sheet in the description if you want to enhance your learning too now let's move ahead to the next step of this lab that is creation of instance group And see it's present in the same thing we have to create two instance group now here you'll scroll down you'll see instance groups just click over here it will take some time to load just click on create instance group you can see here just click over it now here for the name what you need to do you need to just copy the name carefully and again i'm repeating there should not be any extra space or dot so just paste it carefully and it's us waste one so according to it only you have to select the template okay as per the group region and template region now here the region is multi-region so just select multiple zones and cross verify the region now here we have to update the instance number cpu utilization number and just one more thing let me show you it will be 80 or as per the lab instruction and yes initializing period so just update it cross verify from here again basically they may update the value sometimes so you need to cross verify now click on create now again we have to create another instance group in europe west region basically the region will be different for you as per the lab instruction because it gets updated periodically now update the region like this and select the template according to it only now again you have to make some modifications below multi region europe west 4 basically the region which is mentioned on your lab instruction i am seeing is saying this because many of you may make mistake now update the maximum number of instance utilization value and here this also this all things have been done now just scroll down and click on create it will take some time to get created meanwhile wait for it to get created it may take one to two minutes you can see the instance is just updating it and finally it has been created so you can just refresh it or reload the page also if you want to view the updated status so finally you can see the green checkbox in the status that means it has been successfully created now we will move forward to the next steps also and let's move to the next step okay first we'll be checking the score whether we have got full score or not so once you get the score we are done with this step now the next step is that we have to just verify the vm instance is ready or not so yes you can see all the vm instance are already ready so basically here first thing is that we have to create a load balancer so let's check the score first of all so you can see we got the score for first and second task now for the task number three we have to configure and create the load balancer so let's move ahead and again on the search box type load balancing 
So just type load balancing and just open on a new tab. And here, please pay attention to each and every steps because if you make a single mistake, you won't be able to complete this lab. So now here we have to just click on create load balancer. If the top option is not visible, you can just create like this. Now here, carefully read this. Basically, if any, if you not read, just follow the way I'm doing. So basically here we have to just create application load balancer. Next, public facing external. Again, next, best for workloads. Again, next. Make sure to select as I am doing and cross verify if they update from the lab instruction. Now copy the name from here and then just scroll down and click on next and configure. It will take few seconds to configure. Now here, make sure you have copied the name, just paste over here. Now we have to configure the front end back end configuration. So just here, the front end is already configured. So we don't have to make any changes. Just click on done. If they update the value, just update. Now add a front end IP part and change the basically the IP to IP over six and here it will be auto allocate. All things are done. Now we have to just configure the back end. Click on the back end configuration and here we have to create a back end service. So for that, copy the name carefully. Copy the name carefully and make sure there is no anything missing or extra space or dot. Now just paste over here and here you can see all things are here. Basically here port numbers and ultimate things are missing. So just update the port number and select the instance group also. First let's update it to rate sampling mode and it should be matching with the data mentioned on the here. Now here instance group will be us west word dash mig we have selected the first one now all things are done just turn it and here click on add again now we have to create a europe west mig so just copy the name carefully basically it's an instance group not name you have to select from the drop down again port number will be 80 and this time the sampling mode basically the mode balancing mode won't be different here it will be utilization only and just Cross verify from the lab instruction. Now we have to create a health check also. So basically there is no mention of health check. Basically in the previous steps, we have to just add it like this. So just click on create, mention the name over here. And once you have done this, cross verify the port name, etc. And then just click on create. Now it will take few seconds to get created. And then we have to just enable the sampling logging and sample rate to one. You can see here, enable logging, click on it, sample rate to one. I just click on create and these things are done now here you can finalize all things are updated if you are sure then only click on create now it will take some time so wait for it to get created and then we'll move forward the most important step of this lab basically it may take two to three minutes so you need to wait for it until you see see the status as checkbox then only move forward to the next step okay that's what happens you get the score instantly only like if you come to the lab instruction and check the score you may get the score and if you're unable to get the score you need to wait for it now in the next step of this lab we have to just proceed to these many steps so please pay attention we have to create a vm instance okay we have to create a SPM instance. So let's do it together. Now from the navigation menu, you have to just create the VM instance. If you haven't opened this page, then just open like this. Okay. Now just create the VM instance. So basically the name will be Sage VM. Just copy the name carefully and select the region as per the lab instruction and zone. Now just update it like this and cross verify the machine type it is default e2 series now here all things are correct to just click on create so just click on create button and wait for the vm instance to get ready now meanwhile also activate the cloud shell by clicking on this icon now wait for the cloud shell to activate and vm to get created okay just wait a second Click on continue and just authorize yourself. So by mistake, if you have double clicked the instance, just go back over here. And if it doesn't work, just open the VM instance by good navigating the VM box, basically from the search box. Now let me increase the font size. 
and just minimize it and as you can see the vm is now ready now just follow like this just hit enter again after running the vg cloud command and type y and hit enter again now again hit the enter button twice and if you see like, like this output that means definitely you'll be able to complete this lab now just install this and here just export the ip okay you have to export the ip so how we'll find the ip basically just come over here click on it you can see the backends are also set now here we have to export the ip range you can see here this is the ip we have to copy now you can use your personal notepad or anything just copy this ip like this make sure do not copy the last part and just replace it like this copy it from here and just come to the vm session basically on the cloud shell which we have activated now just run this command now it will initiate and take some time now after few seconds you can just end this session now we have to create a deny list basically cloud armor policy so how we have to do you have to just open this from here let me show you from the search box when you click on Control c you will see this output which was mentioned there now from here just type armor click on this armor policies now just click on create policy you can see here just click on create policy now for the policy name we need to just copy from here and just paste over here now here first thing is that deny list is already open now we have to just update to allow like this now for the sage ip just go to the vm instance page and just enter the external ip just do it like this just follow the way i am doing and you will definitely complete this lab now here in the match section we have to just paste it you can see here they have mentioned match section it's already there now priority we have to just add thousand okay you can see here we have to add priority as thousand and it will be deny section so just enter thousand like this now all things have been done now click on save changes to rule next step we have to add a target so basically we have to add a backend service and click on replace once you have done this you have to just click on create policy and just click on create policy it will take some time to get created and once it's done we'll move forward to the lab instruction and check the score so just wait for it to get created now once it is created you can check the scores from the lab instruction and that's how we have completed this lab do like the video and subscribe the channel for more such amazing content. Thank you. Have a great day ahead.